Gangplank is known for just two things, massive crits and being a fucking pirate. As we all know, the Bank Plank rework is coming up because he isn't as viable as he could be in the current meta. But was there a time where he was stronger? Or maybe even weaker? Well, let's find out on today's episode of How OP We Used To Be. I want to kick off today's episode with a really cool mechanic that Gangplank once had that hasn't really been implemented into any other champion to date. GP's raise morale used to require Gangplank to sacrifice one of his own minions and the passive buffs on himself to give his allies increased stats. Ain't nobody getting no siege minions in my house, bitch! This shit is Dota now! Raise morale used to also give a 36% attack speed buff to everyone. That is a level three Nunu blood boil to everyone. Do you understand that pushing potential? Like you take that and an actual level five Nunu blood boil, which gives 45% attack speed and a nidalee level five heal. And you put that on top of a Tristana who built full damage because she doesn't need the attack speed because you're going to give it to her plus her Q back when she could outrange towers. What the fuck? Moving on. As most of you probably know, Gangplank's ultimate used to drop balls randomly, only dealing damage if you were hit by one. Well, the slow effect used to come from the cannonballs too. You could literally walk through Gangplank's ultimate completely unscathed, not taking any damage nor being slowed but if you were hit by a cannonball instead of being slowed for today's 25% it was 70% September 2nd 2009 is the birth date of AP Gangplank because before then his W removed scurvy only scaled with a 30% AP ratio instead of the normal 100% okay now let's talk about one of the more bullshit things of Gangplank's history his fucking passive Gangplank's passive used to be completely different instead of dealing damage over time and applying the pussiest of slows it used to apply a 65% heal reduction for 10 seconds. You think you need an ignite to shut down a Mundo's ult? How about you just auto him once and shut him down twice as hard? That shit lasts longer than I can last in 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 bed. Aww. I kind of feel bad for myself. All right, last ability to talk about is of course the most important ability in Gangplank's kit. His par lay. First off, until July of 2012, no mana was restored from last sitting with Parlay. This would obviously make Bangplank a lot harder to perform as you would often find yourself out of mana. You know how you sometimes see a bug on a champion and you're just mind blown on how far fetched it is? Well, let me read this shit to you. Fixed a bug where it could sometimes restore gold to other players. Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's a thing. Finally, I say the best shit for last. Gangplank's Q used to deal magic damage. 3k crits of magic damage and 3k crits of physical damage. How the fuck do you itemize against that? You think Shivana's hard? Holy shit! On a final interesting note that really has nothing to do with how broken GP was, between December of 2012 and April of 2014, there was only one tiny minor change made to Gangplank. A year and a half of almost not touching a champion. Pretty cool. But that is all the time that I have for today. Please know that these were just the things that I found to be really interesting and not everything that was changed. To find out every minor detail that happened to Gangplank or any champion for that matter, look them up, find their wiki, and go to the background section, scroll down to where the patch history is, and read away. I really enjoy reading about champions history and that's kind of why I make this series, but I also encourage you to do so as well. But until next time guys, my name is Frost and I'm out. Toodles! Hey, so a couple of things. First, I have social media that you might not know about, so uh, I don't use Facebook that much uh, at the moment just because I don't know, I don't. But it's still a great way to get in contact with me, so if you want to get in contact with me, do it there or anywhere. I don't really give a shit. I respond to everything. Uh, second, at 20k subs, I'm going to do a small Q&A type video, uh, more or less just to introduce myself to those who actually give a shit. So if you have a question that you're dying to have answered, ask it somewhere that I'll see it. Uh, if you do ask it in the comments of this video or any of my videos, put the phrase I love anal somewhere in the comments so that I can put it in my search bar and I can search it up so I can pull up all your questions and see them there. Yeah, I love you guys. Peace.